is where we left off in the previous video. A and B happening together is written as A inverted U B or A intersection B. An event A or event B or both happening together is written as A U B or A union B. Let's look at a very simple example to understand this. Consider the set of first 10 natural numbers from 1 to 10. Now consider two events. Let A be the event of getting an even number and let B be an event of getting a number greater than 5. Let's analyze the two events. Even numbers are multiples of 2. There are 5 even numbers in this set. 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. Let's write it next to A. 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. And there are 5 numbers that are greater than 5. 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So next to B, let's write 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. First, let's look at A intersection B. It is the case of both events occurring together. The number in this set should be even and should be greater than 5. Basically, it will be the set of numbers that are common to both these sets. We can see that 6 is common to both. 8 and 10 are also common to both. So it will be 6, 8 and 10, 3 numbers. You can see that each of them are greater than 5 and are even too. So what will be the probability of events A and B happening together? 3 numbers out of a possible 10. So the probability of both events A and B happening together will be 3 by 10. This also equals 0.3 or 30%. In layman terms, we can say that there is a 30% chance of picking up a number that is even and greater than 5. Let's zoom out and see what A union B will be equal to. This is interesting. It means either getting an even number or a number greater than 5 or a number which is both even and greater than 5. So let us note the even numbers first. 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 are the even numbers. We also need to jot down numbers greater than 5. 6 is greater than 5 but it's already included in the even numbers list. So we don't write it down. Remember, numbers should not be repeated. The next number greater than 5 is 7 and that is not written. So we write a 7. Similarly, 8 and 10 are already included. What remains is 9. So these are the possibilities of event A or B happening. 7 in all. No matter what number we pick from the set, it will surely be either even or greater than 5 or it is possible that our pick is both even and greater than 5. What we are interested in is probability of A or B. There are 7 numbers here out of a possible 10. So the probability of A or B happening is 7 divided by 10. If you look at this set carefully, you will see that it contains numbers only belonging to A only belonging to B and belonging to both A and B. Since this was a small set of numbers, we could use this method of looking for numbers manually. But for a bigger set, we may have to use a formula. In the coming videos, we will see how formulae can be used to find such probabilities.